I love you. This is my first YouTube video. Please do well to like and subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever I post a new video. After wiping off the dirt of my mother's face, I went ahead to burn my eyebrows. Then after that, I applied my concealer. This is to make it a bit lighter. Then I applied powder to mattify the brows. I naturally prefer doing my eyebrows first before the face because it gives me more control. Here, even if I make a mistake, there's room for me to go back and correct it. I concealed my eyebrow bones with a lighter shade and the edges of the eyebrow with a dark shade. And I'm using the Elegate Pro Concealer. I'm making sure to blend my concealers onto our skin properly so there won't be any ash lines and to give me a smooth base for my shadow application. When I'm done with my eyebrow, I went in with powder to mattify the areas that have been concealed. I also went on and pop a mild bronzer onto the eyebrow bone area. I'm applying my eyeshadow primer from the FBH Concealer Palette. And this will help whatever color of eyeshadow I apply onto the eyes, it will help it to pop. After applying my transition colors for my shadow, I went ahead to defend my cut crease.
one thing you should know if you're doing a free-handed graphic liner you should be able to steal your breath in order for you to be steady and you get clean lines After doing the graphic liner, I went into my eyeshadow palette and smudged some black and brown at the edges. Then I went on to apply my forces from she lashes. I'm trying to find a foundation shade, so I went on to apply little bits on a shake, but I ended up using the three foundations. It's Maybelline Super Stay and the V Beauty foundation. I took my time to blend foundation properly onto our skin. If you watch closely, you can see that our face is darker than her body so i had to mash the face to the body i'm taking my time to blend the foundation to the skin properly and i did the same for the other side Now you can see that it's a perfect mesh, the face and the body. And I went on to apply concealer from the LA Get Pro Concealer onto our face. I used the light shade and a dark shade at the outer corners. For the sheen, I went into my FBH cosmetic palette and I made sure to blend every area I applied my concealer properly.
can see that my concealers are properly blended even when the first concealer I used was extremely light it's it's not properly blended and i went on to apply the pressed powder like just to set the under eyes before baking it I'm setting the rest of the face with my melanin powder. And now I'm baking. I prefer using this medium sized brush. Because I can easily go light handed with a brush than when I'm using a beauty sponge. And I'm using the Avor setting powder. After the initial application, I went on my beauty sponge to give that nose a defined contour. I went on to apply my blush. I've dusted off my setting powder and now I'm spraying my face to make sure that everything is sitting on the skin properly and it's melted. So I went on to apply my bronzer. Now I'm doing my lipstick application and I'm outlining the lips with a brown shade from the Melanin lipstick. Then I'll go in with a lip shade from Beyond Beauty. Then I added a little from Hot Cash from Classic Lipsticks.
I'm done with the entire piece and this is like the finished spray and it has the final look. I hope you guys love it and please show some love so I'll be encouraged to make more videos. Thank you.